Hey everyone, thanks for clicking on the video. Let's dive right into what we promised without any long intros. So after checking out the Knuckles series, I'm excited to share my thoughts with all of you wonderful people out there. And don't worry, I won't spoil anything. This review today is totally spoiler free, so enjoy it. In the latest video we discussed the big plans the franchise has for Sonic and the gang. This time they're focusing on Knuckles, I'm wanting to dive deep into his story and make him a standout character for the future, like Sonic and Shadow then. They aim to build him up to be a big figure, much like how Marvel has done with its characters over time. It's like getting those exciting Marvel vibes. I don't know if it's good in this sense, but okay, let's send it out here. They've just released 6 episodes to kick things off. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video to help the channel creating more content for you. Thank you very much, let's go on. I never expected Knuckles to be the main character to the spin-off and to kickstart the big plans for the franchise. Aiming to create a universe like Marvel's I said, it's really cool to see unexpected stories unfolding. The plot isn't either what fans predicted, instead of the usual. Knuckles is training Roy Whipple, the cop often seen with Tom in their series to become a warrior. That twist adds an interesting layer to this story and it's a good sign that things might not be as predictable as we thought. So before I started watching this show, I heard some people saying there weren't enough scenes with Knuckles. But when I started watching, I actually found many scenes with him, especially in the beginning, to be more specific in the first four episodes. It wasn't as bad as the media made it seem. I must admit, I really enjoyed it in the beginning, it was fun. The quality is good and if you watch it without overthinking and having too many of these headlines in mind, it's really beautiful. The TV show gets super fun when Knuckles starts fighting, it's like the show hits its peak of fun. The fighting scenes with Knuckles are awesome, you can tell they put a lot of effort into making them special. It's not just some random fighting scenes, you can really feel that they planned everything from where it happens to how it all goes down. So big thumbs up for making Knuckles fight so cool and exciting. So that's first. In the beginning of the TV show, the focus is mainly on Knuckles, and this is great. It's all about him, just like the show promised. We get to know him better and understand his character. Meanwhile, Sonic and the other characters are happy doing their regular kid stuff that you might expect. But Knuckles is different. He's not as comfortable with the usual activities, preferring fighting and being a warrior more. This is where we see the first big difference between him and Sonic. Knuckles' interests lie elsewhere and it's clear from the start. The TV show really tried it when it came to diving into Knuckles' struggles and inner thoughts. He's on a quest to find someone he can truly connect with and call family. It's like he's searching for his own place in the world, but he's not quite there yet. Then along comes Ray Whipple's story, which fits right into the picture. The episodes also delve into the cop's family issues, especially with his mom giving us a good understanding of where he's coming from. What is cool is how they take their time to show how much Knuckles and Wade have in common, which I thought was a good transition and comparison here. When we watch the first half of the show and get a glimpse into the cop's story, it feels like we're only scratching the surface level. They give us hints and some background info, but fans want them to delve deeper into these stories. It feels like they're just skimming the surface without diving into the juicy details, and this is what we want, to be honest. We also see Knuckles' tribe and their leader, but what they show doesn't seem satisfying enough. The same topic here as I said before. I didn't really get how the trailer from the movie was different from what I saw on TV. I mean, there were so many exciting stories hinted at in the trailer, especially with the mechanic who worked for Robotnik, they showed him doing a bunch of cool stuff, and then you have this two agents with their mysterious backgrounds that they show. The whole plot seems perfect to explore, especially if they brought in more time in Knuckles TV show. It felt like a missed opportunity not to dive deeper into these exciting storylines. So I have to admit this is very sad because the storyline is good. In the show when Knuckles is being chased by these agents, it gets super thrilling. As a fan you're on the edge of your seat, feeling all the excitement and tension. But the show doesn't really let these moments sink in. If they did, it would be even more awesome to watch. Also at the time when the agents talk about why she got into this job and her mission to find aliens on Earth, it's quite interesting. But then the story moves on too quickly, so if they slowed down and gave these parts more time, 
it won't make the show much better because it's something viewers want to see more of. The show has a lot of promise, but it could be even better if they listen to feedback and make changes for the future. It's clear that they're trying to make it enjoyable for both kids and adults, I understand that, which is great. The plot is good, but they should explore the stories more deeply to build a rich universe with all the characters then, otherwise it might not last as long in the future. I totally suggest you to give it a try, because it was fun and had some super exciting stories. But the bummer is that these awesome moments end quickly and you think, please show it more. Besides that, it's a promising beginning, yes? And if they build on it for future TV shows, it could be even better. I particularly like the Carp Wait, who got a lot of screen time. So for fans who love these characters, there's even more to enjoy. If I have to rate it from a scale of 1 to 10, I would give it currently a 7. I can't wait for your opinion when you watch this. What do you think about these points? I always love hearing your thoughts and comments on it, so let's discuss it together. Don't forget to subscribe and like, see you next time in another video and take care.